Welcome back. I'm Bernard Ma, author of over 20 best-selling books on future trends, including generative AI in practice and AI strategy. Today, we are tackling a critical question as AI becomes increasingly autonomous. Who's really in control? As agentic AI systems begin making decisions and taking actions with minimal human oversight, this question moves from philosophical to practical. Let's start with what makes this challenge unique. Traditional software follows explicit instructions. It does exactly what we tell it to do, no more and no less. But agentic AI is different. These systems are designed to pursue goals independently, adapt their strategies and learn from outcomes. This autonomy creates what experts call the alignment problem, ensuring AI systems remain aligned with human intentions and values. Think of it like the difference between a train and an autonomous car. A train follows tracks we've laid out in advance. We control exactly where it goes. An autonomous vehicle makes thousands of real-time decisions, navigating conditions we couldn't possibly anticipate. We set the destination, but the vehicle determines how to get there. So how do organizations maintain meaningful control while benefiting from AI autonomy? I see four critical approaches emerging. First, objective function design. The goal we set for AI systems must be crafted with extreme care. Poorly specified objectives often lead to unintended consequences. For example, if you tell an AI to maximize customer engagement without any constraints, it might exploit psychological vulnerabilities to create addictive experiences. Smart organizations are investing heavily in translating human values into precise AI objectives. Second, oversight mechanisms. Effective control requires visibility into AI decision-making. Leading companies are implementing explanation systems that make AI reasoning transparent, monitoring frameworks that detect off-baseline behavior, and intervention capabilities that allow humans to adjust or override AI actions when necessary. Third is bounded autonomy. Rather than all or nothing control, Forward-thinking organizations implement gradual autonomy with clear boundaries. AI systems earn increased decision-making freedom as they demonstrate reliability within controlled environments, similar to how we gradually grant autonomy to employees as they prove their judgment. And fourth, organizational readiness. Control isn't just technical, it's organizational. Companies need new governance structures, expertise distribution, and decision rights frameworks to effectively oversee agentic systems. Without these, any technical controls will definitely fail. So as we navigate this new territory, the most successful approach isn't maximizing control or autonomy, but finding the optimal balance between them. Too much control negates the benefits of AI agency. Too little creates unacceptable risks. Thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more insights on emerging technologies. I'm Bernard Ma, thank you for watching.